And that's where the audio cuts out on me. So for a first ever, I get to do a commentary sitting at home on a video that I did before and see if I can remember what I'm talking about. I believe we'd be looking at that little veranda above the windows there. So this is an old abandoned school. Beautiful building. I think it's actually in quite good condition. It's a nice little bit of wood there. And 1928 is when that stone was laid, so imagining it was built around about that time. The veranda actually looks like it's in pretty good nick, doesn't it? But it's definitely abandoned. The spiders have moved in. All right, let's have a look through these windows. We can't get in, but you don't always need to. All right, look at that blackboard. Some shelving, a little window there. Maybe the teacher's passing through to the students. And then a room off to the left and the right and some doors on the other end. So, Let's have a look through here. Yes, I have been here before. That was me. And there's an old air conditioner. There's a little sink. One of those tables that they had at schools. The blue legs. Oh, and a bit of tinsel. More spider webs. And weeds. Yes, it could do with some cleaning. Okay. More spider webs. <laughs> All right, so that's the same room, different window. Tall ceilings, you can see the lights hanging down. Just that old air conditioner, I wonder what it was like in the day. It looks like someone's half painted that window. That's nice windows, aren't they? Everything looks very straight. Okay, you can't see in that one because they've put a blind up. And oh, here's some more doors. It's interesting. That's a note to the um, it's a meter reading man, lady, person. Let's have a look through here. Wow, they're nice doors too. And another entrance with doors at the other end. The room that we saw before, off to the right. It looks like it's got a few bits and bobs. Is that a canoe? I think that's a canoe. Okay, there's a canoe in there. Hmm. Beautiful place. Someone's painted that white and got it on the glass. And another door that's got a curtain up, so we can't see in that one. Not sure what I'm saying, but... That, where'd that come from, that water? Why is that coming down there? It's the guttering giving up the ghost. So the rendering's got a few cracks through it. It's a beautiful building. Look at that little bit up there. I wonder what that's about. You can see the surrounding areas all overgrown. I'm very taken by the building, though. It's lovely. All right, can we see in here? What have we got? It's an old chair. It's a bits and bobs and stuff <laughs> and things. Can you see much, guys? Well, that wood needs protecting, doesn't it? If we're going to keep this one. And let's come around this side. There's an old rose bush. That's the road back out to the street. So it's not the largest school. I imagine that might have had something to do with the reason why it's not in use anymore. Wouldn't it make a great community centre or something like that? similar as a palm tree? It's in very good condition. These verandas and guttering. Do look in great nick, don't they? I have no idea what I'm talking about now. 
on the actual video. All right, let's have a look through this window. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so some built-ins, some desks. This looks like flooring, is it? Maybe, not sure. Bits of wood anyway. Okay, let's have a look in this one. More desks. Oh, same room, different window. The old fire extinguisher. Big tall ceilings again. So it doesn't look like much has been done with it, does it? Oh no, broken window. Well, they've boarded it up at least. Put you up there. I can't see, but you'll have to tell me what you can see. Actually, I can see because I'm back at home now. <laughs> Yes, it does look in very good condition. Oh, another broken window. This is not good. Looks like a slate step. Now, this looks like wood. When I did the original video, I didn't know what was going on here, but I have a little bit more insight now. When we go outside and we walk around, we look in their toilets, you know what I'm talking about. So next door to this property is a woodmaker's property or wood carving or wood something. We'll see it in a minute. I've forgotten exactly what it was called. And I think that they've taken over a little bit and they're storing their wood in there. So I think that's what this is about. And we will see more of that as we go along. So we've come to a back corner. Just having a look up at it. So straight looking. Guess you could turn it into a home. Now, I don't know if that wood's got anything to do with the wood, guys. The wood I'm talking about is looks like cut bits that are drying out, being seasoned. Not these things. What are those things? With the, you wouldn't have that many beds, would you? Who knows? Who knows how these things happen? How on earth it just transitioned into sort of being abandoned and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm saying, or maybe I'm saying we'll go that way in a minute, but first of all, we're going to go down this way. So you see a lot of cracks in the pavements. And nature starting to reclaim. This is the little toilet blocks that I was talking about. These are part of the school. Now you can get an idea of what I mean. So this was my first inkling that something was going on with people using it for storage. First of all, I thought it was firewood, but I don't think that's right. But while we're here, have a look at the old toilets. It's locked, so I can't get in. Now I'm thinking about the wood, I think, and what's going on there. And then over to the men's. Now you notice those signs are made of a bit of a core flute. See, more wood. <laughs> yep, wood and more wood and more wood. I wonder if they got permission or they just slowly moved their wood in and hope no one noticed. All right, we're going to stand back and you can see more wood there. Have a look at that. That looks pretty straight as well, doesn't it? Now, there's the original boys sign. And then see, I take note here of these core flute signs that they've made saying men. And there's another boys sign underneath. So at some stage, they must have transitioned these over to be used by the general public or something like that. And I'm assuming that said women. The other bit's gone, maybe, that it was written on. And it was originally girls. So as this plot thickens, now over there, that brown sign I'm pointing at, I don't know if we can read it from here. It doesn't look like we can, but it's something to do with woodworking. And guess what's in here? Because, I don't know, <laughs> you tell me. Oh, look, it's old, isn't it? 
it's electrical. So Oops, sorry guys, just dropped the fly spray because I'm actually at home. <laughs> All right, so obviously we're having a talk about that. See, that's probably the worst damage thing we've seen and that could still be saved. All right, you've got the sun in your eyes. Sorry about that too. And... All right, let's head back over towards the school. You can get a good idea of where it's situated and what's going on around it. You can see those four star droppers there. That's a hole in the ground. I don't know what that's about. There's another one on the other side as well. Under that crate, there's actually a hole. Going back towards the back of the school. Is that graffiti somebody's done? So it has been graffitied. They have done something about it, which is good. So that wood needs to be protected ASAP, doesn't it? And if they're starting to smash the windows, which they are, because when we go around the other side, you'll see it really looks like they're throwing stones through it. So that's another window down. Have a look through there. All right, so that's that room we saw before. They do look like bedheads, don't they? And wood. Oh, that looked a lot like wood. It must be the wood, guys. That bench there. Oh, and the kitties were sitting on that having their lunch. Now look at it. Broken and lonely. More wood. And we probably saw that from the other side as well. Same room, different window. Yep, there's some nice slabs of wood in there. I wonder if they're paying rent. All right, so these are the main doors on the other side. There are some numbers above some of the doors. There must have been different classroom numbers, I think. Um, showing you some more spider webs there. And there's the other side of the canoe. It's a lovely building. All right, so there's a board there and some blinds. And if we just skip through there, we can see this. I think this is a tank stand. We used to keep our wood in underneath, wood for fires. Don't know if they needed that. Oh, they've been pissing on a bit at this high school. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Oh, that sounded incredibly spooky. It was so good that I had to go back and do it again. And guess what? We can't hear it. So just imagine a really spooky, squeaky door. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I did realize when I got back after doing the whole video that my audio had cut out. All right, once again, the roof looks pretty good. Those windows look pretty sad, don't they? They're getting smashed. There's more boards and more boards. And, well, that wasn't done very nicely to start with, was it? Boarding up around that aircon could have done better than that. That's that room that we started at with the Christmas decorations, just looking at it from the other side. And that's the other side of this foyer. I think I'm showing you spiderwebs again. <laughs> at the time, it all probably makes perfectly good sense. When you have to come back and do a commentary on it, it's a completely different game. Now there's the blackboard. What does it say? Craft centre open. So looks like it maybe has been utilised. Oh, it might have been while the school was open. They might have had a craft centre. Oh, look, there's a piece of glass smashed on the floor. Looks like an old bedside table off to the right there as well. That glass is doing down there smashed like that. But I'll probably wonder forever. There's someone lurking over there. And I see Jamie's head just go past a window. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, dear. All right, so there's number one. And there's a spider. That's a spider this time instead of a spider web. 
sometimes I put my camera forward and I've hit a spider web and it freaks me out. Might have been what happened then, not too sure. Looks like a coat rack down there on the floor. Old crate delivering the bread maybe. Screens for the windows. Oh, let's get this place fixed up. Before it's too late. Now, we have a look through there. <laughs> I'm a bit of a deal though because there's a window on the other side. <laughs> so I did after do a little video just looking through that window, which I'll probably attach to this video or put up separately. But either way, you get to see a little bit more in there. And guess what? It's full of. It's full of wood. All right, so room number 12. It looks like a gate down there on the ground. These things look really solid, don't they? Obviously, they're gates. I wonder where they were. Look very sturdy. That'd look lovely restored. More wood. Maybe to do with the woodworkers. And more wood. Well, at least their wood's protected. It's like a blackboard running along, is it? I don't know. That grey stuff on the right looks a bit dishevelled, doesn't it? Someone's stripped that door down too, taking the paint off it. and Hmm. You think the woodworkers would help clean it up if they're going to use it? Oh, well, better get off their butts, hadn't I? <laughs> oh, look. See? They're smashed windows. Looks like a rock's gone through there. Boarded up. Giving you a bit of a view and stepping back. Oh, another boarded up window. And some more wood. All right. Don't think we've seen in that little room before. Looks like some steel bars as well. Okay, so we're coming along the back wall. And I know that there were more smashed windows and boarded up. So we can't see in that one. It's a bit tall for me up there. Look at these little verandas over the windows. Kind of love it. Would have been more smashed windows there. Oh, it's terribly disappointing, isn't it? Look at that entrance. Just lovely. So nice and straight still. Unusual place to have your electrical board in a high school, isn't it? Oh, clean it up. Anything interesting there? Any of the rooms named? Light store? Storage? It's on. Power's on. Okay, so they've put some tin over those windows there. Ugh. Fix it up. I guess they can just keep putting wood up when they smash the windows. They've got enough of it. What do you do if people are just going to come back and smash it? No, I think I'm pointing out the woodworkers there. That's back up a bit. Oh, look at it. And coming around here, I know there's more smash windows. Now, this is starting to worry me because these haven't been boarded up. And that's when the pigeons get in. This has been going on for a while, obviously. Look, boarded up, boarded up. That's another rock. I don't understand the fascination of throwing rocks through old buildings, and destroying and trashing. I think it looks beautifully straight. Well, that's strange because the glass is on the outside, which means somebody's smashed that window from the inside. Maybe I'm about to wrap it up here, so I better say thanks heaps for joining me, guys. So we're looking back in that main room. I really do appreciate it. hanging out with me, 
going through abandoned buildings with me, coming on my travels, our travels. Wow, look at it now with the sun shining on it. So I imagine I'm doing a step back. Well, that's beautiful. Well, what do you reckon, guys? Are we saving this one? There you go. Thanks heaps for joining me, guys. <laughs>